guys, what's up and welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna take a look at every single season four battle pass reward, all the main ones, as well as some free rewards which you can claim right now in the game. So guys, definitely make sure to watch the full video and with that being said, here we go. Okay, so let's start off with the battle pass, starting with the character skins. Okay, so over here we have David Mason Ruin Ranger. Now the actual skin might not match the theme that well of the new season, which is mostly jungle with a bit of military in there as well, but the skin itself is actually pretty cool and he has definitely grown on me over the last couple of days. So yeah, I would say it's a pretty neat skin. Then we do have Zoe Jungle Diva, which I've got to say is my favorite skin at this time in the battle pass. I think she came out looking really neat. Then we do have a new strong arm skin, which is a reskin. And I've got to say, I'm just not a fan. I don't think the reskin works that nicely. And also, I'm just not the biggest strong arm fan if I am going to be honest. Then we do have a new sim skin known as Gunner. And this is for every single person that has been asking for a military skin. Skin. Yeah, it looks good. Now onto weapons, we do have the CX-9 Glorious Plumage. Now a lot of people are hating on this bright rainbow parrot, but I think it's pretty neat. I just wish it had custom sights. Then we do have the LK-24 Envenomed, and this in my opinion is the best battle pass gun skin of the season. Awesome design, and it does also have some interesting custom sights as well. I think this skin is personally really good 10 out of 10 in my opinion then we do have the arctic 50 jungle ma and yeah it's an okay looking skin venus flytrap inspired the stock looks really cool i just wish it did have a custom sight besides that the rest of the skin is not bad then we do have the fr556 uh, unburied treasure now i have no idea how this fits into the theme but yeah it's a pirate chest looking gun but yeah base sights cool skin though and then we do have the tier 50 skin which is the mg42 rubble maker cool looking almost abandoned looking skin of the moss growing everywhere it's like an overgrown sort of vibe with some ruins and relics around the place now in the previous video i said it had base sights but yeah they're actually custom but it's so slight you probably didn't even notice either now as for other rewards, we do have the epic backpack known as Fearless Explorer's Pack. You guys can see that over here. We also have the RCXD as a new operator skill. We do have the epic charm, which is the Explorer's Lucky Charm. That is going to be of Zoe. And then we do also have a new legendary calling card, which you guys can see over here. We have the Ranging, the Ruin Epic Avatar. We have the Rubble Maker Epic Frame. And then for the new emotes, we do have the Serpent's Buddy, which is this massive rattlesnake looking serpent, which kind of wraps around us and looks to be protecting our character. And then it just sort of slithers away. Actually a solid emote in my opinion, like it quite a bit. And then for the BB subscription, we do have the Holger 26 Serpent's Gold, which you guys can see over here, the Backpack 4 Serpent's Gold, and D-Day Bush Ranger as well. And then of course, for the new Battle Pass uh, Vault, you guys can see that over here as well. So overall, I would say the BP is pretty good. It's an average BP, not amazing, but not bad, but definitely uh, pretty good at the end of the day. So guys, definitely give me your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. And now let's check out some free rewards which you can claim right now in the game. So this past weekend, you were able to earn eight different rewards from watching the Snapdragon Mobile Masters in a game for three hours to get all of these different unique rewards. However, you were not able to claim them up until today when the update released for the global version of the game. So here's all the rewards which you can claim right now in game if you did watch the mobile live stream in game okay so we have three sets of credits equaling to 600 we have the avatar bot army nothing crazy the calling card specially made the q charm sergeant squeaky a red version of him 
with a helmet, pretty cute. And then we do have the Locust, deadly lasers, super bright, animated, actually a very nice skin just for watching a live stream in game. And then finally, if you watch for three hours, we do have Merc 5 Infrared. I am a sucker for Merc 5 skins and this bright red and black version of him is actually pretty neat in my opinion. So yeah, if you watched this stream this past weekend, make sure to claim your rewards right now via your mailbox in-game. They're actually pretty decent just for watching a live stream. So yeah, pretty cool. But I do want to say if you missed the stream this past weekend, you can no longer unlock these skins, so keep that in mind. Next up, we have a new Treasure Hunt BR mode, which actually sounds pretty good. So in summary, find keys hidden in loot boxes, which you can use to open up treasure chests. These reward you with high share loot and gold bars. Note, each player can only carry one gold bar at a time, and once you open up the treasure chest, all other players will be alerted and you will be marked on the mini-map to all other players. Now to avoid danger, you can recycle these gold bars at these stations over here, which will then reward you with high tier loot. But note, the recycling process does take some time, which can result in you being killed by other players. Also note, the treasure obtained will go towards the new themed event to help you unlock rewards faster. It actually sounds like a pretty cool and fun mode, so yeah, I'm excited. Anyways though guys, moving on to our final topic of today's video. As you guys know, the CN version of the game is having a collab with Path to Nowhere. And in this collab, there's of course going to be a new lucky draw with a legendary MAC-10, potentially a crate with a bunch of skins related to the collab, but also they're going to be able to earn this M13 and HDR skin for free for the CN version and potentially Garena, but I'm not too sure. And that's cool for them, but it sucks for us global players. However, in the game files, there is also the same two skins being the M13 and the HDR with no association to the collab. So we might be able to earn these two skins over here for free at some point in season four, but I guess only time will tell. So let's wait and see what does happen. And guys, with that being said though, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy and thank you so much for watching. But for now, that's going to be all for me, so have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.